Very rarely do I have such an extraordinary pleasure uh, as I have today to welcome three uh, iconic figures, three genuine American heroes, uh, to have uh, Neil Armstrong, Michael Collins, and Buzz Aldrin uh, here beside me uh, is uh, just wonderful. And you know, I think that uh, all of us recall uh, the moment in which mankind finally was untethered from this planet and was able to explore the stars, uh, the moment in which uh, we had one of our own step on the moon and, and leave that imprint uh, that is, is there to this day. And it's because of the heroism, the uh, calm under pressure, uh, the grace uh, with which uh, these three gentlemen operated, but also the entire uh, NASA family that was able to, uh, you know, at great risk oftentimes and, and with a great danger, uh, was somehow able to uh, lift our sights, uh, not just here in the United States, uh, but around the world. And I think it's very important for us to constantly remember that NASA was not only about feeding our curiosity, uh, that, that sense of wonder, but also had extraordinary practical applications. And uh, one of the things that I've committed to doing as president is making sure that math and science are cool again, and that we once again achieve uh, the goal by 2020 of having the highest college graduation rates uh, of any country on Earth, especially in the math and, and science fields. So. I think on this 40th anniversary, uh, we are uh, all of us thankful and grateful to all of you for what you've done. And uh, we expect that there's, uh, as we speak, another generation of kids out there who are looking up at the sky and are going to be the next uh, Armstrong, Collins, and, uh, and Aldrin's. And we want to make sure that NASA is, uh, is going to be there for them uh, when they want to take their journey. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Thank you. you. Thank 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 you. Thank